Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Before we start today's video, I wanted to tell you guys that nobody ever is going to know how great you are, nobody. Not your parents, not your friends, not your teachers. Nobody knows how great you are. That means that you have to know how great you are. You are the one that's gonna rule your world. You are the one that's going to take you where you wanna go. It's all up to you guys. It's all up to you. So get out there and be great. When people say you're not great, Kill them. Gabby, no! Don't kill, them. Don't kill them. That is the worst example. Everybody when people say you're not great, just know inside yourself how great you are and prove them wrong. So I'm, I'm wearing my Equizen hat. Equizen hat. Do you think you're going to be using that Equizen when we bring the horses home? A lot. I don't know. We don't know. A lot. We don't know. But Gabby has a plan for our outdoor arena. Why is our outdoor arena sucky? Because it's in a square, so it's hard to do diagonals because you can barely turn. And, and it's like in a square. And who is that going to be hard for? And it's too small for Chino, so we're going back there behind the hill. Well, we don't know yet. We have to talk yeah. about it with Dad. But we're going to see. Yeah. Cars come by there. We'll take them there. We'll take them there. We will take you there in um, a few minutes as soon as we let our horses out and give them breakfast. Today is Tuesday and we got so much, we got nothing. <laughs> we got nothing to do. Actually, that's not true. I have like super duper amazing plans that you guys aren't probably gonna care about, but I'm gonna show you anyway. I told you, if you guys aren't following my Journey to Greatness channel, I have my own channel, not all of you guys know. It's called Journey to Greatness. I made a video the other day and in it, I tell you guys um, how we're gonna handle COVID-19 and how we're what we're gonna do being locked in. Okay, so guys, since Willow's the smaller, she's gonna get the biggest carrot. Aww. And Sky's gonna get the second biggest carrot. Chris is gonna get the smallest carrot. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. These, these almost... I feel like that's that's not good science. I feel like yeah. you're giving the horses you love the best <laughs> the biggest carrot. Nice try though. Okay. Nice try. Nice Thanks. Guys. Thanks. This is Willow. Wow, Willow. This is Garth. Willow is such a lucky pony. Hey, it's skinny. Oh my gosh. You guys, something that I didn't I wasn't able to share with you, but when we were riding on Saturday, like uh, it didn't get in the vlogs. Holy cow. We have a big a problem with Finn. Like we have a huge problem with Finn. He's hurt bound to Sophie, like so bad. She left to go to the bathroom and I held him and he lost his mind, tried to chase after her. He was like, that's my girl. And then when she came back, I was like, you behave. And he did, he was a good boy. But then as soon as she walked into that arena, he dragged me to her. He like, I never seen anything like it. And then when he got to her, he was like kissing her like a puppy. Like it was insane. It was like so bad. Yeah, um, when Finn does something that he thinks he shouldn't have done, and I'm walking him along the rail and I'm walking beside him, he always turns and kisses me. Yeah. Every two steps. Yeah. Baby Jack is kind of like that too. If he's gonna touch something he's not allowed to touch, he like hides and tries to pretend like nobody can see Sky him. Wants a oh, hi, Sky. I'm gonna clean your stall. And hers. Oh, she doesn't bite. You're supposed to bite. Take a bite. Yes, that's a girl. Guys, did Willow do any damage? <laughs> yeah, you gave her too big of a carrot. <laughs> oh, no. I love you, Sky. Although, to be honest, I feel like if Sky went to her, her, her home now, it would be okay because I'm a bit overwhelmed or at least I think I'm going to be overwhelmed. But I don't think Fiona's quite ready for her yet. All right, we got more hay. Are you trying to catch a pigeon? The pigeon's what? It's noisy. I don't like it. What happened to this? Oh, yeah. Do you like it? Oh, I put a rope up here thinking that it would keep the horses off. I'm so dumb. Like, that, your dad was like, that's not going to work. I just worry about putting anything. Like, I need to put something yeah, here. Yeah, I know. I was thinking about that when I saw it in the video. I'm like, Ooh, Laura, no. you are so dumb. And that's the thing. When you know that in your heart you have goodness and that you are valuable, then you can say things like, Laura, you are so dumb. Or other people can say, Laura, you are so dumb and you won't take it to heart, mostly. <laughs> I, do, I do struggle with that. Because you know that you really are a good person. All right. Let's try it out. Oh, wet. Still wet. The feel. It's so comfy. Yeah, it might just be cold. 
It is cold. It's comfy. I'm excited. Like, I'm not going to lie. I'm a bit excited about being in quarantine, especially if it goes through the summer. I'm going to miss our, our riding instructors. I'm going to miss our lessons. There are going to be times when I'll be pulling my hair out, but I am going to love this time. I don't know what happened when your dad was here last night, but... This is how easy you can put the halter on her. Yeah, she knows she's going out. Sure. when. She even when I, I do this, to, she does this when I put it on to walk her in here. Okay, I don't care. She has to have a halter on every single time. Ooh, yeah. I've been all around the world. Oh, every city, every place. bucket definitely did not come out exactly perfect it's not all shiny and beautiful but it's still pretty good all right let's explain the stalls all right let's talk about who's getting the stalls who's getting this stall chino. chino chino's getting this stall because he needs a window because he's never been an indoor horse before he has been inside lots of times and he'll adjust to it i'm sure but for 12 years he mostly stayed outside so we're trying to make the transition as easy as possible so chino Who's getting this stall? Storm. 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 Who's getting this stall? Sky. Sky? Yeah. Tell them why. Because on um, this, it's hard to open and Finn can't have it. Sophie doesn't like this stall. Who's getting this stall? Finny. Finny. Oh, he already has poop on the wall. Yeah, it's well, already been like pooped this on. this stall. Yeah, so it's let's not break him into a new. New, clean, awesome stall. Yeah. All right, so that's it. Finn. Sky. Chino and Storm. So this is where Gabby wants to put the outdoor arena, the riding Probably arena. towards the road. So this area here is not really very level, but over there is. So do you think this area here, see where the grass is a little shorter and longer and lighter? Do you think it's bigger than what we have now? And it's fenced in along one wall, two walls. Longer, but not as wide, but we could definitely come out to here. So basically we could do it from here, back, and then he, she, they could even take it back a little bit maybe. I don't like this spot. I don't know either. I like a normal one. What if we put sand here? Oh. So this is definitely bigger, and the thing I don't like about it as much is that... It's not as private. Like our spot over there is so private, you guys. There's a rock too. It's so private. It's like glorious sitting back there at night and in the afternoon and in the morning all day. It's just, I don't know, it's private and so fun. All right, let's talk to dad about it. This may be small, but Sophie and I love this little arena. I know. It's perfect for our ponies. Not even like two diagonal. No, I know. Chino couldn't ride in here. So this water, these water bottles we can't take back to the store. You have to pay $10 every time you buy a new bottle and then you get your deposit back when you bring the other ones back, but you can't bring them back now because of the COVID-19. So um, we're switching to these. It's Finn's Gotcha Gotcha Oh my god. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> How do I say it? It's Finn's gotcha day. Gotcha day. It's Finn's gotcha day today. How long has it been? It's been a year. I can't stop smiling. Are you happy you had him? Are you happy we got him? Have you always been happy we had him? Yes. Yeah, you have. You've always loved him right from the beginning, even though the, the road has been rough, huh? Mm -hmm. But now he's herd bound. Yeah, he's herd bound to you. Also, do you feel like it? it's better like that you learn more with him because of all the bad things that have happened with him? Have you learned to be a better rider because of him? Yeah. Do you guys remember when we moved into this house a little over a year ago? First of all, do you guys remember our attic? We had on our, at our other house, we had this big, huge attic and it was stuffed with all the stuff that we were saving. And then before we moved here, I fell and broke my pelvis. So Sam had to do all the 
packing and all the moving. So he rented a big dumpster and threw everything <laughs> into the dumpster, except all this stuff. This is the stuff that's still here. And basically it's a mess because we've been going through it, like especially this stuff over here, we've been going through it trying to get the things that we need. We had, Sam had the genius idea to buy all these Rubbermaid containers and pack in that. My goal for this week, for the, well, for this month, is to go through all this stuff one box at a time. Like, look, I have this whole Rubbermaid container and all it has in it is a hanger, which we don't even need and some of our little crate shelving system, which I am gonna keep because I wanna use this. I know I'll have a good use for this. Yeah, I wanna go through it. I wanna like, like spring clothes are in here. This puppy, this puppy bag would be so good for Gabby's new puppy, bringing her home. And we've got some toys. Like we just have it all mixed together. Just a big mess. So every day I plan to come down here with boxes and garbage bags, go through it, get rid of the junk, and keep the stuff that I need. And hopefully I'll have this reduced to like under 10 boxes. So I'm gonna show you guys now, and I'm gonna show you guys again like within a month and show you how much work I got done. So this is kind of what it looks like now. Big, huge, wait, let me back up a bit here. Big, huge, terrible mess in the basement. I'm ready to pack it all up and get this house clean because once this virus breaks and if we find a farm, like you don't know when it's gonna happen, you guys. I definitely wanna be ready when it does happen. This is how you do quarantine, self-isolation. You have friends on the computer, on the phone. We got Gabby and Kaylee and Sophie and they're all playing. What are you guys playing? Piggy. Piggy, George the pig died. George the pig died? And Peppa Pig. That's on Roblox. It's very, very sad. Is there a, can I take the red pea? This is what it looks like, you guys. Self-isolation. Gotta have friends however you can get them. So this afternoon I worked on getting um, footing for the arena so that when the horses come home we can at least ride them somewhere. Not Chino maybe, but at least do stuff in there with them. And then Sam came home and dashed all my dreams. What did you tell me? We need more oh, rope. The piggies, yeah, we need more rope for the for the for the paddocks and what else? You broke your your tractors, <laughs> both of them. Oh, yeah, I broke my tractor. So I don't know how we're gonna get the footing in there, but don't, but don't worry, I will find a way. I literally will find a way. It's like rocket science for me. I wish. Why don't you handle the cert, the sand? Like you know more about this stuff than I do. Do you know more about this stuff than I do? I'm busy working all day. I know. You need to get done with that job. Yeah. Anyway, that is it for today. Woo! We're going to edit this vlog and go to bed early because we have a big, huge day. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. We are packed full of cra crazy, crazy things tomorrow. You're going to be shocked at what's going to happen tomorrow. We'll see you then. Bye -bye.